Hello beautiful friends. This is Crystal Rose Insights here to do the Taurus Valentine's Day special reading. Um, super excited to do this for you and look into the energies going on with Taurus right now. And um, those of you that have been following me for a while, you'll notice this is a different setup and um, I finally had to get up off the floor where I loved doing my readings. Like I just feel so cozy doing them on the floor, but man, doing so many readings and hours and hours a day, like my knees were killing me. So I am now sitting in a chair, which is great. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So let's get going. So um, we are going to look at the energies around Taurus right now. And those of you that know my channel, I always start every reading with a crystal and this is obviously being about love this is a beautiful rose quartz tower that one of my soul sisters gifted me and sent to me last week and it's just got such a beautiful energy so um, it's going to be supporting the energies here coming through for love for Taurus for this Valentine's Day time now um, you know even though we're doing this reading right now around Valentine's Day these videos really are timeless because the universe has a way of giving you messages when you need to hear them. So no matter how you've gotten here or how you've stumbled across this video or whatever it is and you get a message that makes sense for you, it is Spirit's way of giving you messages that you need to hear. So um, that is what we're going to do. So these are general readings. I would say that it's important to, um, so not everything's going to make sense to you. It's not going to sound right for you. And that's okay because there's lots of people watching. And um, it is my intention that every person who watches my videos will get a message, at least one very important message specific for them. So um, with that, sometimes um, the sun sign doesn't resonate as much as your other signs in your chart so um, go watch your this is like sun moon rising but also I would suggest watching your Venus sign um, video as well because you'll get additional messages so I've already called in my guides and spirit guides and all that um, to support this reading for the highest good of all so let's see what's going on with Taurus and oh my gosh, hopefully you guys, you can't hear my trash truck outside super loud. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We get the nine of air, the two of fire, and the ace of water. And at the bottom of the deck, we get the five of fire. So this is the overall theme right now. It feels like for you, Taurus, you might be in the middle of like having a lot of irons in the fire, number one, but also feeling like there's a lot of different competing priorities happening in your life, coming up in your life. So um, we're going to see how this energy continues to play out in the rest of the reading. But the theme right now is this is about, sometimes it can indicate having conflict with other people. This is about, you know, kind of juggling a lot on your plate, but also at the same time, like kind of having a frustrated energy around it. Because the five is an energy about a, a challenging time so it's kind of like one of those growth challenges that you know it's good for you in the long run but it's not really fun going through so leading up to right around now we have the nine of air energy and this is about this is the energy about the self-fulfilling prophecy and being a negative Nelly it's like this is about kind of expecting the worst oh my gosh this is you know getting in your head and thinking the worst is gonna happen so it could be that there's something going on around you that is just making you feel right now. What I'm hearing is like some of you might just be, you know, maybe you're in a new relationship or a new love interest and you're scared that it's going to go badly, kind of like all the rest of them. Or you're worried, or, oh, I like this person so much, but ultimately I'm not sure what's, you know, everything else in the past hasn't worked out. Why should this? A bit of a, a protection mechanism going on. Now we're going to get other cards to further the storyline as we go, but this is just sort of the initial um, messages coming through with just even the, just this one card here. So there is an energy of just uh, the worry wart energy happening here. So if you're in relationship, you could almost, again, whether you're in relationship or you're, you've got a love interest around you or you're single, there is some energy around love for you right now, Taurus, leading up to this, which is like, just like being, expecting the worst. 
and um, the universe will listen if you're spo if you're focused on the worst because you need to focus on the law of attraction is obviously focusing on what you're wanting and what you're wanting to bring into your life versus you know what you're afraid of. It's definitely a headspace energy. So the current energy right now is the two of fire. So some of you might have, you know, again, this is furthering the story. And there's some storyline here for some of you where you may be starting something new where there's a lot of passion. You know, you've not only just, it's not only the start of the journey, but you've actually started to move forward. So it could be that this is what's bringing up this nine of air energy is that there's a bit of like, concern about that. This could be that there's some new uh, partnerships happening. Uh, this could be business, but obviously being a love reading, I'm more inclined right now to feel like this is relating to love. But for some of you, it could be a business partnership. It could be about things moving forward um, and, st and continuing to move forward. Um, because what's coming here next is sort of the, the nearer the near future here is this ace of water, which is a brand new beginning of in love. So, you know, that's a great card to have, um, coming through this, you know, like energy and that it's coming for you. So maybe you're assuming it's not coming for you. Maybe you've met somebody right now who is all of a sudden making you think, Ooh, there might be something happening. And there is a new love start of uh, a resurgence of love or a brand new love coming. So it also could be indicating spiritual growth and awareness, but it's definitely a really, um, out of the head, you get into the heart space and out of the fire. So we've got the fire passion energy here. So let's, let's get some more cards. I want to see what else is going to unfold with this storyline. So I'm going to pull from the energy Oracle cards. Give me another message, please. Spirit on this nine of air. What is this nine of air about? Goddess of the Moon. Interesting that there's sleepless nights and the moon showing up here. I'm going to pull also a two cards, one for the two of fire. Spirit, what's the two of fire here for, please? Yep. And then this Ace of Water. Another message, please, Spirit, on this Ace of Water. Okay, interesting. So what we're getting here is the moon energy and the fear of expecting the worst is like there's some energy here of n you not knowing everything that's going on. And I think on an intuitive level, on a soul level, you might be feeling that you, there's things under the surface. Now, again, this could be your own subconscious fears. This could be things going on with you subconsciously. It also could be the message here that, you know, your answers will come when you connect with your intuition. But I feel like what, the, what this is really getting at is there's a, there's a scenario where the fears and sleepless nights are because there's some something coming up that is about um, the unknown and things being a little hidden. Okay, so it, it could be that energetically you're feeling there's something hidden around you or that you're not aware of that's causing you to have this concern or this expecting the worst. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what else comes up here because what's interesting is the two of fire here. This is about new partnerships moving forward and the sun energy is here. So the sun is about having abundance and happiness and new beginnings, but it's in the reverse in this particular deck, which I do read reversals in this one, um, which feels like there, you have a fear that you can't have it all. It's like something's ignited your, your, your heart space of a new possibility and starting to move forward, but it's like, I'm hearing it's too good to be true. So this is too good to be true. I'm afraid it's going to turn out like everything else. Um, so there is some, it feels like there's a lot of you Taurus that have something new brewing or something that's brand new that started or very recently started that is bringing up these fears for you and concerns. And then what's interesting is that we're getting 
the same thing coming here. So the Ace of Water, the new beginning, but we're getting the seven chakra. So this is connection to the divine. This is about connecting to your higher self, divine love, spirituality, but it is in the reverse. So it's coming up as this is needing to be balanced. There's something blocking this because you're in your headspace. So spirit is saying to have this Ace of Water coming for you, this brand new beginning in love or a resurgence or like a resurrection of an existing love. That it's important to connect to your spirituality. And again, this is, it's like the same energy here. The goddess and the moon and the, this card here are both very similar. Um, so it feels like spirit is wanting you, Taurus, to get out of your head and to, to really kind of take some time to connect to your, to your spirituality, your divinity, your, um, you know, where you get all your answers. Let's get some even more info here. Okay, so why is this Nine of Air, Goddess of Moon, Energy, Spirit? What's another message we have here for this line? Yeah, definitely it's early stages that are causing you to have fear. Daydreams and decisions. So this is really saying that it's asking you to connect to your heart space. I don't know if you can see it on the card, but here's this person whose eyes are closed and they're putting their hands around their heart and opening up space in their heart. So, Taurus, it's very much like this can be an this can be also a card where you're too much in your head. You're almost like I don't want to say delusional, but that that's not what I'm meaning in this particular reading. But sometimes this card can indicate like you're kind of out in la la land, and it's time to kind of come back to your heart center to know the truth. It's like a lot of times we can get almost overly active in our upper chakras and our spiritual path and all that. And this is saying like, let's connect to the heart space. And very much, um, it all comes down to connecting to the heart. Because your heart knows. Your head is where fear always comes in, okay? Fear, fear, fear in the head space. Ego. Heart space is where the true love comes in and where trust comes in and, and faith. So, it's just, you're really in a situation right now where spirit is being very clear with you, Taurus, that it's a time to, if you find yourself getting into your head swirls and being afraid and, and you're not feeling confident, this is a time for you to really start some sort of um, connecting with, with your, you know, with your higher self and, and love energy. I don't know how else to say it. Pull one another here for this two of fire in the sun as we're getting the darkest fears. Here's the fears coming up again and the moon energy. Okay, so we are getting the darkest fears. These darkest fears are all in your head. Um, and I feel like these are coming up because of the and energies still are super strong from the full moon lunar eclipse um, that happened. But it feels just like your fears are all in your head and it's time for you to let go of their grip on you. You know, you don't need to be having sleepless nights. You don't want to be creating self-fulfilling prophecies because you're scared. And look at all this new love, all this good stuff coming your way, but you've got to get out of your head for some of you listening to this. Because the sun is here, but it's blocked because you're having your fears come up, okay? Once you get rid of your fears, the sun and all the abundance and happiness and joy and peace will come to you. And once you're in that energy, it will help pull this new beginning in love or this um, beginning of a new journey in love closer to you. But that's the work you need to be doing right now. And then we're getting a major arcana, the detach card. So this one, um, the detach is the card of justice. So this is really asking you to reflect and to decide, have clarity. And this is about our ego preventing us from seeing things clearly. You know, maybe there's some of you that are 
like in a reevaluating time in a relationship. Um, this is about letting go and letting God. Okay, she looks a little forlorn. There's the winter scene behind her. It feels very desolate to me. But she's letting go of this dove, and this dove is flying off, the sign of peace. So she's like letting the universe know that she's willing to trust that she will receive peace. And this is, at, so there's some energy here of you guys figuring out if you're in an existing relationship and you're reevaluating, trying to figure that out for some of you watching, that this is the time for you to kind of detach, take a step back and reevaluate what's going on around you. And is this really what you want? And it's also saying the Ace of Water energy, this is about like letting go of need, feeling like you need to do something. I can't even tell you guys how loud it is outside my place right now. And it's a little distracting. So if I'm kind of trailing off, it's, be <laughs> it's a little bit why it's like, I like my little quiet space and all of a sudden there's trash trucks, dogs barking. It's kind of crazy, but You know, this is, again, this is detaching from the ego. That's a really important message for you, Taurus, right now. This, there's, this, what's coming up for you, the energy's coming up, is this is your opportunity to detach from ego and fear. Okay, so look at where that's been a challenge for you, where that's been an issue for you. And, um, and now my phone is ringing. Seriously? <laughs> like, stop. Um... I think there's really a lot of interesting messages coming through here, Taurus. So, um, you know, this is the lay of the land for you. Take what has made sense for you. Leave what doesn't. If it's not making sense, go watch your other signs as well. But if this is resonating for you guys, I am starting a Vimeo channel where I'm actually going to take this reading and we're going to go even more in depth. Here's what we're going to look at. This is the lay of the land, but what we're going to get in the next reading is... We're going to get in-depth on advice, what your current challenge is, a little bit more about what might be going on that you don't know about, that you need to know about. Maybe some of your subconscious, um, more of what's happening in your subconscious that you're afraid of that's, that's being brought up to be healed right now. We're going to get messages from Archangel Michael. We're going to get messages from um, the goddesses. We're going to get pull all sorts of advice cards about how to handle this because as, you know, as we go journey through life, this is really not just about understanding what's happening, but how can we be an empowered participant in what unfolds for us? So that's what we're going to get into um, in the next video over on my Vimeo channel. So in the meantime, um, I hope this has helped you guys. And if you want more information or if you want a private reading, it will be down below. And happy Valentine's Day. And if you're you know not in relationship right now, like, just honor yourself and love yourself and, and, and just um, take this time to really do your healing work, Taurus. I think you're at a really pivotal, pivotal, pivotal point. <laughs> All right, guys. So check me out on the Vimeo if you want to go more in depth on this and keep going. We're going to hit on the other side there. And in the meantime, until next time, an abundant love always. Bye.